Hello, this is Mr. Tyrebox123. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review of a product called Disk Radar for Mac OS X. So, Disk Radar is essentially a disk management utility which shows you a really good graphical representation of your disks, what files are taking up space, how much space different folders are taking up, and you get a really good visual representation of your hard disks. So I'll just run through some of the information from the website here. So at the top here we've got interface and user experience. Uh, it says no more boring progress bars and, and you'll see just what they mean by that shortly when I show you the product. So just start Disk Radar to see that disk scanning and health monitoring has never been so entertaining. Disk Radar isn't just attractive, it's also very easy to use. Not only do its animated transition effects produce a distinct wow effect, but also provide you with a fantastic user experience. Our UI organically combines a classical Mac look and feel with a modern UI trend. So it is actually a fantastic user interface and I'll show you that shortly. Uh, below that we've got a disk space usage analysis. So lightning fast, it is actually quite fast to determine the space usage on your hard drive. Real time visualization of disk scanning, so it actually shows you progress real time no more progress bars, uh, supports all kind of drives. Um, my Mac Pro has got uh, obviously SATA drives but I've also got a RAID set on there as well and it works absolutely fine with that. Uh, external drives as well, I've got some USB and Firewire drives and it also works fine with that. And also uh, CD drives and even network shares as well. It supports pretty much any kind of disk that you would actually come up against in the uh, OS X world. So you've also got integration with Quick Look, so you can preview files when you need to. Also integration with Finder as well, so you can do a show in Finder as you can in a lot of these applications. And also it's got its own disk space cleanup tool, so it can actually go away and look at a whole bunch of files that haven't been re used recently or files which no longer need to be used that are associated with old applications for example, and it can go away and, and delete those as well if you want it to. One of the best things about the Disk Radar product is that it's got uh, real-time health diagnostics. So it actually goes away and queries the disks and actually tells you like the temperature of the disk, what state they're in, whether they're coming back with any kind of errors, and also delves quite deeply into the uh, smart status and also looks at the parameters of the hard drive itself, like the pending bad sectors count, reallocated bad sectors and uncorrectable bad sectors along with CRC errors and a whole bunch of other stuff. That in itself is absolutely fantastic because it actually completely monitors your hard drives and gives you a lot of warning if it looks like one of them might fail. So rather than waiting for it to fail and then losing everything and having to try and recover it, you can actually get a good indication of when it's going to fail, copy the information off of it, throw that disk away and replace it. It's also got automatic updates, 64-bit support, multi-core CPU support, and it's also built with Coco. So let's just take a look at the actual interface itself and see what we think of that. So this is the actual software product itself. Um, if I go into volumes here, you can see that I've got um, some USB drives here. I've got a, a Time Machine backup Firewire drive here. I've got a RAID 0 here which is made up of three one terabyte disks and I've also got my operating system disk which is a one terabyte SATA disk inside the Mac Pro itself. So if you actually go away and double click for example the my main boot up drive here it's gonna scan that hard drive and as it's going it's gonna create a visual representation of that drive in a really nice format to look at. So I'll leave that running um, and I'll come back to that in a second when that's finished. So there we go, that took about 90 seconds to complete and you could see the progress as it built up there and now what we can see is a, a, a really nice graphical breakdown of all of these different areas on my hard drive that I'm using to uh, store fi files. If you actually highlight one of these sectors on the right hand side it kind of breaks down each one and each folder and tells you the, the uh, capacity that's taken up by each folder in terms of storage and also shows you a general representation of the entire view. So we can see here I've got 288 gig 3 which is 36.8% 
we can see that for example this area of the hard drive here is all taken up by my users folder and we can then see a breakdown on the right hand side of the users that sit underneath that going out one we can see the breakdown of the folder called Adam which is obviously my home folder and all of the area and space which is taken up underneath that so a really nice representation there of all the files and folders that are taking up space on my hard disk on that particular hard disk so if I go to the biggest 30 we can see the largest 30 files here on my hard drive which is quite a useful thing and we can also go to clean up and I've only done this recently so there's nothing in here but this would actually mark all of the files or give you a view of all of the files which it thinks should be de deleted for cleanup and you can actually pick what ones you want and then move them all to the trash so if I just go back to the main screen here I could go away and do exactly the same thing for my RAID 0 or my time machine or whatever the case may be and it's going to give me a similar representation to what we've just seen just then also and this is my favorite part of the product if I go into the diagnostic section here and I've actually asked it to collect diagnostics for my RAID 0 and for my main uh, boot disk. We can see that if I click on health attributes, it tells me all of the health attributes to my current hard drives. So you can see at the top here we've got the raw read error rate, we've got the spin up time and a whole bunch of different things and it actually monitors these and then it gives you an indication to if your hard drive is likely to fail any time soon and then notifies you of that exact situation. So if I click on pre-fail, gives you some indications here about pre-fail indication and I can also look at lifespan as well and that's typically given us a whole bunch of information about what the lifespan is likely to be. I can click on failing and it would give us an indication if anything is failing and I can also click on failed and it would give us an indication to if anything is actually going to fail. So I really like this disk radar product, I've been using it for a long time now. Um, I have had situations where I've lost hard drives and it has indicated to me beforehand that I was going to lose those hard drives and it's always got me out of trouble. So the pre-warning of a potential hard drive failure for me is worth the money in itself. So in terms of the cost of the product, let's just go back to the website here and look at how much this thing costs. So we can see if you've got one hard drive, it's $12.95, um, which is about £10. If you go for the Pro version, which gives you unlimited hard drives, uh, that's the version that I've got, it's $15.95, which is about £12. And if you want to, you can go to the family pack, which supports up to four users, eight Macs, and unlimited hard drives. So this was my review here of the Disk Radar product by Binary Fruit. I absolutely love this product. It saved my backside on a whole number of occasions. I would highly recommend this product. Just to note one more thing as well that I, I forgot, up in the top here you can see a constant reading of the temperature of your hard drives which again gives you a good indication of what their health is. So thanks very much for watching, thanks for all of your feedback and your subscriptions and your comments and I'll see you in the next video.